I'm really hyped for this idea. As a kid, if I learned about this, if I knew about this, it would completely blow my mind. Today's discussion is going to be about Banjo-Kazooie and Mario 64. Mm -hmm. I have been a big fan of Mario 64 my entire life, but also I really loved Banjo-Kazooie as a kid. And it was so <laughs> sad to see that Banjo-Kazooie kind of just got neglected after Tui. Like, yeah. to see nuts and bolts happen, to see the rare acquisition happen, to see that the last good Banjo games were on the fucking Game Boy of all things. It was <laughs> miserable. For me, I always considered Banjo-Kazooie to be the evolved version of Mario 64. And I'm sure most people feel like that too. It was basically Mario's ideas, but evolved. When you collect your big thing at the end of the fucking mission, you don't leave the level. You continue. The coins, mm -hmm. which are musical notes, actually matter to advancing in the story. It doesn't just give you a one-up. It, it just yeah. felt like Banjo-Kazooie was a more refined Mario. The moveset was more fun. Um, the power-ups were fun. Um, the character interactions were actually charming when Mario 64 has no character interactions at all, really, excluding the bosses. <laughs> uh, yeah. Banjo-Kazooie was just a really charming game, and I really loved it growing up. Yeah, honestly. I don't have much uh, experience with the game myself, because uh, unfortunately I never owned it as a kid. But... I have seen some people go through and play it, and it honestly does look like a really charming game. It looks a lot like uh, Mario 64. Well, now there is a hack being made that will combine Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie. Now, since both these games have been like decompiled and examined, they can actually be perfectly fused. So they're mixing mm -hmm. the gameplay and momentum of Mario 64 with the levels aesthetics and everything of banjo kazooie and this is going to be an amazing uh hack it's already been tried to mm -hmm. be made before but when it was made before it was years ago when we didn't know much about how the games actually worked so it was very bare bones very basic it had mario enemies everywhere <laughs> now we can actually full on implement stuff from both games at the same time and mm -hmm. this hack is going far and beyond to be a perfect fusion of the two games going to the point of even redoing all the music mm -hmm. they're using the mario instruments on the banjo songs it's crazy that they would go to that extent in this fusion of games yeah honestly and i really like the music they're doing for it too it sounds really good i think it's a perfect blend between the mario music and the banjo kazooie music honestly i'm curious how this uh banjo kazooie hack is gonna work because we already seen that mario when he needs to fly he uses the wing cap when he needs to jump he has like a jumping animation from like mario world um <laughs> i'm curious how the boss fights are gonna go will bowser be involved because his laughing <laughs> replaces grunty's laughing is he the one behind all of this like Me? how many mario elements are gonna get into this game is it gonna be truly just mario and banjo kazooie or is it gonna be different grunty fights you on a big stage at the end what if at the end you fight grunty and bowser and bowser's oh, walking yeah. around stomping and grunty's above attacking you that would be cool. It's hard to say what they'll do, but I think any possible outcome will still be really fun. I think mixing the two might be a really cool way to do it, though. Yeah, uh, I'm really hyped for this idea. As a kid, if <laughs> I learned about this, if I knew about this, it would completely blow my mind. I am going <laughs> to leave a link to the guy's channel who is making this. He's well known in the hacking scene. He's made plenty of really great Mario hacks, so if you want to see more stuff like this, go to his channel, check out his stuff, and when this finally releases, I'll play through it and I'll tell you guys what I think. <laughs>